dear students it is another video on writing answer for the questions in english literature today i have taken the poem the sea by james reeves i have included five practice questions and the ways to write answers for the for those questions you can read this first question in this question the violent nature of the sea has been highlighted. As usual, you can structure your answer into introduction, body and conclusion parts. For the introduction part, you can include three sentences. You can read these three sentences. When you read these sentences, you can understand the second sentence provides the answer for the question. You have to describe the second sentence in detail in the body part of your answer. You can read the question and the first paragraph answer again. Here, you can have three different concepts to develop the body part of your answer. Remember, the question is on the violent nature of the sea. You are going to describe about that. Here, you can use one paragraph to describe its appearance. You can use another paragraph, one or two paragraphs, to describe its movements. Similarly, in a separate paragraph, you can describe about its sounds. If you want to study about the points to be included for the paragraph, you can watch my other videos on the topic. Practice questions two. You can read this question. You can understand. You are requested to describe different nature of the sea. As usual, you can write three sentences for the introduction paragraph. Second sentence gives the answer for the question. And for the body part, 
of your answer, you are going to describe the second sentence. So the question is on the nature of the sea. You can see in the poem, the writer describes different edges of the sea. In the body parts, in one paragraph, you can describe the violent nature of the sea, how it is shown in the poem. You can describe the poetic techniques used to show this condition. Similarly, the other natures of the sea can be described in other separate paragraphs. I have given an example to show the paragraph development. The concept violent nature of the sea is taken and I have mentioned the facts that you have to include to develop that particular paragraph. You can work with your friends. To develop a good paragraph. It is another question. You can read this question. For this question. The answer is written. There are three sentences in the introduction paragraph, as usual. The second sentence is the key sentence, which provides answer for the question. And you are going to describe the second sentence in detail in the body part of your answer. For the body parts, you can have different paragraphs and in each paragraph, you can describe each point. As I told you earlier, work with your friends. To enjoy your writing session. I have shown to develop a paragraph, one concept is taken and the facts are given to collect supportive details for the paragraph. You can discuss it with your friends and when you work together, you can develop a beautiful paragraph. It is another question. It is about the metaphor used in this poem. You can read the introduction paragraph, which is written using three sentences.
as you are aware, the second sentence is the key sentence and uh, which provides the direct answer for the question. And uh, this is what you are going to explain in the body part of your answer. You, have, you can structure your body part according to the concepts. The comparison can be described in separate paragraphs. The writer in this poem compares the appearance, sounds, and the movements of the sea to a dog. Each aspect can be described in separate paragraph. It is another question about poetic techniques. You can read the introduction paragraph. When you read this introduction paragraph, you can understand the second sentence has been the key sentence in this paragraph and you have to describe this sentence in detail in the body part of your answer. You can develop your body part in this way. Each technique can be described in a separate paragraph. With the employment of these techniques, you can write about the effects it causes in the meaning construction in the poem. It is another question on the themes of the poem. You can read this introduction paragraph. You can understand that the second sentence is the key sentence and you have to describe it in detail in the body part of your answer. Work with your friends and write your answers It is very important that you should do practice. I advise you to work with your friends. Thank you.